Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日は基本のホットケーキにアイスクリームをトッピングした美味しいホットケーキを作ります。First, let's make the batter. Combine the cake flour and the baking powder and mix it with a balloon whisk. Then, sieve the flour into a bowl with a mesh strainer. Next, beat the whole egg in a bowl. Add the sugar and mix to dissolve. Pour in the milk. Add the vegetable oil and the vanilla extract. Thoroughly mix the ingredients. Now, Make a shallow hole in the flour and pour in the egg mixture. With a balloon whisk, gradually mix in the flour from the center to the outside. This will help avoid pockets of dry flour. When the flour is completely moistened, it is ready. And now, let's make the pancakes. Thinly coat a pan with vegetable oil using a paper towel. Turn on the burner and heat the pan. Then, with a sizzling sound, slightly cool the pan on a dampened kitchen towel. This will help to brown the pancakes evenly. Ladle the batter into the pan. And cover. When small bubbles begin to form on top and the bottom is golden brown, flip it over. A tip to make the both sides puff up is to do this when the top is still in a fluid condition. Now it is ready. On a plate, place two pancakes on top of each other. Dust the pancakes with icing sugar. Place a dollop of whipped cream on top. And spoon the vanilla ice cream onto it. Sprinkle on the diced almonds. Add a small amount of whipped cream. Finally, garnish with the mint leaves. Enjoy the pancakes with the maple syrup. Avoid thickly greasing the pan to keep the pancake from having a patchy pattern. If you are using a non stick pan, additional oil may not be required for the second pancake. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 When the batter is too thick, add milk a little at a time to adjust its consistency. Good luck in the kitchen! <laughs>